Hi everyone, I'm Ben from Salespace, and this is another weekly tech tip. Today's tech tip is about Zoho Forms and how we can integrate Zoho Forms with Zoho CRM and why that's useful to us. Okay, so in the example we're looking at today, I've got a simple form. It's just got a couple of fields here, first name, last name, email, and company URL. And we're going to have a look at what happens behind this form and how it connects to our CRM. So this is a simple lead capture form. Um, we have this on our website so that uh, we can capture the leads information and then we send them to the ebook. Okay. So if we go to Zoho Forms, this is what's happening behind the scenes of that particular form. So we have the integration tab here, and this is where we integrate it to the CRM. So you see, if I run through this page, which module it's connected to. So this is connected to the leads module in CRM, but you can also connect, uh, connect this to any module in CRM. So you could use contacts or, you know, a custom module or products or that's up to you. Okay. And then we've got the standard layout and then we have our field mappings. So what this means here is each of these fields down here are on our Zoho form. Okay. And then this is where we're sending the information across to CRM into the corresponding field. So you see here the last name field of our Zoho form gets sent to the last name field in Zoho CRM and vice versa for the remaining fields down here. Okay. Down here at the bottom, we also have actions. So the automation and process management action, that means that when the lead gets created in CRM, um, it can trigger various automations. So we could have a, an automation in the CRM which sends them an email or which maybe assigns a task to one of our staff to contact uh, this lead. And that's what that trigger there does. Next one we have is upsert record. And what this means is uh, when we create the new lead in CRM, it will actually do a check to make sure that it doesn't exist already and it will only create it if it doesn't exist. So we don't end up with any duplicates. And the last action which we've got turned on for this one is tagging. So you can see here, we've got a tag, which is watch webinar be proven. Okay, so that tag gets added to the lead when they get created in our system so that we know uh, which webinar they've watched. Okay. So let's now jump across into the CRM and just have a look at what the lead looks like. Okay, so here's our lead, which has come into the system. So it's got the name. You see here, it's got the tag that we set there. Watch webinar be proven. And it's also got those other fields there with the email address and the website URL. Okay, so as I mentioned before, we can use that when that comes into our system, we can use that to trigger automations or tasks. It's up to us, but we've importantly, we've got that information from a website or from a form. We've got it into our CRM so that we can then use it um, in our business. So that's just a simple example of um, the power of using forms and CRM together. Um, there's lots of different ways you can use that. Um, another way could be, for example, an onboarding form for a client. So uh, once you have a new client start up with your business, you might need to collect some more information about them. That might be their address or their ABN or their dietary requirements. So as long as you add those fields in CRM and you put them on your form, you can actually send that information back into your CRM. So you could update their existing contact information as well. You don't have to necessarily create a new lead. You could just be updating fields in CRM so that you save your admin person from manually having to do that. So I hope that's been useful for you and we'll see you next time.